We uh, continue to grow, especially when the boys come along. And as we uh, uh, grew, we diversified into utility trailers. And also, uh, we got into the NASCAR world. Uh, I uh, kept sharing with uh, Featherlight Manufacturing uh, about the opportunity in our part of the world here, not only uh, were we strong with horses and, and uh, livestock, but also the racing NASCAR world was here. And uh, so we arranged a meeting with uh, Richard Childers and uh, the owner of Featherlight flew down and uh, we had a meeting with uh, Richard and uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt Sr. was involved in the deal. And we put a, de a deal together with uh, those guys that uh, uh, we would uh, supply them a trailer if they would help us get into the NASCAR world. And uh, uh, we're very proud of the fact of our relationship with uh, RCR Racing and, and the relationship that we had with uh, Dale Sr. was uh, in those early days in the early 90s was uh, quite a, a benefit to us opening the doors and getting into that market. In I guess it was probably 1995, uh, the owner of Featherlight uh, was in Daytona working the race down there <clears throat> for Daytona in February and told me that uh, if I would go back home and build a, a new facility out on the interstate that he would uh, have interest in leasing a service center that would uh, and me build a retail store beside of it. And uh, so I was very excited and got back home, um, went to my good friend uh, Terry Brawley, who is now head of economic development here, but got with Terry. He was a town manager at the time, and I said, Terry, where's there some land available uh, on the interstate? And right off, he uh, knew of this track of land out here. And uh, <clears throat> we started looking at it. It was a dirt road. Weeds were waist high. I would come out in the afternoons and uh, out here in my truck, and I would drive in the middle of this field, and it just seemed so remote being out here, I'm thinking, I don't know, this seems like it's just out in the middle of nowhere. But I kept hearing that interstate traffic zooming by, and I thought, this is the place for us. I went to a lot of car dealerships and, uh, and looked at their models of how they have done it, because deep down, <clears throat> I had, a, I had a, a very strong fear that I maybe could not make it. Uh, I was spending a lot of money out here. And I'm thinking if worse come to worse and I don't make it, I certainly want to have some very sellable buildings. And I'm thinking, well, this would make a good car dealership. Maybe I could market those to someone if I don't make it.